From the NCAA Tournament in Buffalo, this Mountaineer Basketball Report is brought to you by United Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers. With more than a foot of snow on the outside and a wind chill near zero, it's nice and warm inside. We welcome you to the Key Bank Center. Tony Caridi along with Jay Jacobs as West Virginia prepares for its game against Bucknell in this NCAA tournament. Jay, a year ago, West Virginia was not happy with the preparation that it had and getting ready for Stephen F. Austin. We know the result on that. So far, though, everyone seems to be good with how they've prepared. Well, I think being up here this amount of time, they've adjusted, Tony, and what they've done is make the routine each day the same thing, with the breakfast, the shoot around, the practice, back home, film at night, after a meal, so it's all been about the same, and I think the practices have been much better in preparing for Bucknell. All right, so the Mountaineers have been asked about what happened against Stephen F. Austin. How much of that do they remember? How much do they want to talk about? Well, those are some of the topics that the Mountaineers and head coach Bob Huggins faced earlier today. We always want to go somewhere that has good weather. And uh, <laughs> so, you know, we're, we were excited to hear you're going to get 20 inches of snow. Uh, now, this is, uh, we're, we're really comfortable here. I mean, I was very honest about the fact that I didn't think our practices were very good leading in a year ago. Um, I didn't, I thought we kind of uh, took Stephen F. Austin for granted and, and they, were, they were a really good team and that was, that was a terrible mistake. And this year we've been much, much better, but I think probably to a large degree of having so many of those guys back that went through um, the experience a year ago. You know, um, Iowa State got a lot of shooters, spread the court, but they, they got a, a big man inside, so they go in a lot. Um, we just gonna play our game. You know, we gonna do what we do. Try to speed them up, turn them over, make them uncomfortable, and uh, run them off the three. Uh, travel ain't really been much of an issue for us, but um, practice has been has been a lot of energy in practice. Um, I feel like the players have been more dialed in and locked into knowing their scout, knowing their plays. It's been it's been a lot of energy in practice. Yeah, it was a guy I wanted to play for. Um, that's the kind of person I want to play for. I want to play for someone who cares enough to get fired up like that. I want to play for someone who's that competitive, who wants to win that bad. I don't know why you wouldn't want to play for anyone else. What do you look for? What are, what are the keys that you feel like you, know, you are ready as opposed to when you're not? You know, I just feel like, you know, if everybody's um, talking you know, before the game, I just feel like, you know, if it's too quiet before the game, nobody's like communicating with each other. I just feel like, you know, if we're not being goofy, we're not being ourselves, and I don't feel like we're ready to play. When I see everybody relax, I just feel, you know, we're ready to go out and compete. You know, I just feel like when everybody's too tense and they're thinking about the game too much, and I just feel like, you know, when we're walking around, we're having fun, we're getting our warm up, you know, everybody's making shots, and I just feel like that's when we're, we're best when we uh, perform at our best. I'm sorry. So the opposition from Bucknell loves to shoot the three-point shot, but they're just not a shooting team, Jay. They've got a big man in the middle who's very productive by the name of Nana Fowlin. Uh, just a fantastic player. He can block shots, he can score, he can rebound. He's a handful. Well, I think what they do is they run everything through him, Tony, and that's the key. You'll get your three-point shooters like Zach Thomas, those guys out there that can shoot the basketball. They'll rotate around. They've got a good point guard in Stephen Brown when it all comes together. It's the guy in the middle that does it. As Bob Huggins often says, you got to guard and you got to make shots. It'll be an interesting one. West Virginia against Bucknell. Our pregame coverage begins on MSN Radio at 2 o'clock. Tip-off scheduled about 2.45, between 2.45 and 3 o'clock. We'll see you on the radio. Along with Jay Jacobs, I'm Tony Caridi from Buffalo on WVUSports.com. From the NCAA tournament in Buffalo, this Mountaineer basketball report has been brought to you by United Bank. We're united with the Mountaineers.